שלום לכם. When Am Israel conquers a land like Gaza, it is wrong and in immoral to give it back to those terrorists. The reason is very simple. First of all, Gaza is a Jewish land. It's been occupied territory by the Palestinians. Gaza was an occupying land. It's got to be from the river to the sea, Israel would be free. You can't have Palestinian terrorists sitting in a Jewish land. That's first of all. Secondly, it says in the parasha, parashat Chesara, that when Abraham Avinu bought the land from Ephron Achiti, he bought the Me'arat HaMachpelah in order to bury Sarah Imenu, it says over there in the Pasuk, an interesting word, it says over there, Vayakom Hasadeh. What does it mean when it says Vayakom Hasadeh? Rashi says, Tekuma Haitala Sheyatsa Miyad Ediot Leyad Melech. It was elevated. The land itself was elevated. When it says Vayakom, the Mepharshim all say, it doesn't mean that he bought it. It's not because the word which should have been Vayikne, he bought it. It doesn't say that he bought it. It says Vayakom, it was raised, it was elevated. What does that mean? That means Tekuma Haitalo, the land itself was raised, it was elevated. And this is how the Zohar Kadosh explains this. It's fascinating to see this idea in the Zohar that he says, Kima mamash ayala sade mashelo hayalo adata. Now it was raised, it was elevated, unlike anything that this land experienced up to now. Because up to now, it was just a simple land, and now it became a Jewish land. It became a land that, became, that belongs to Avraham Avinu. It was elevated, it was raised. Rabbi Abba Amar, Vayakom Asadeh Kima Mamash. It was raised mamash, like a, like a person stands up, it stood up. What does that mean? Shekam venit ala lifnei Avraham. Lefishad ata lo nitgala sham klum. Up to now, it was empty, it was deserted, there was nothing there. Veata ma shaya tamun kam venit ala. Which means, there was things hidden there. Certain powers that a Kadosh Buhu puts in every land, especially lands in Eretz Yisrael. And up to now, it wasn't utilized. Now that Avraham Avinu bought it, all of those powers, the spiritual powers, came to play. And that is exactly what we have right now. When we're talking about a land that is a Jewish land, as we explained in previous shiurim, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu promised to Abraham Avinu the land of Israel from Nechnar Mitzrayim, from the river of Egypt, which is further to the uh, to, to, further from, from the, the strip of Gaza, which means that land belongs to Abraham Avinu. And when Am Israel takes that land, it elevates the land itself. And we are not allowed to desert that land afterwards, because a land also has a certain importance, and you can't just, it's just not the fact that you're giving it to others in order to just keep them quiet and calm the world down, but there's much more into that, but rather, just not only keeping away terrorists, but also the land itself should be utilized in the correct manner and way in order to elevate it and use it for Kiddush Hashem, for Avodat Hashem, for Eretz Yisrael Hashlema.